YouTube, what's the word? It's your boy, man, cause the barber. Listen, I got three things I want to cover before we get into this video. So first thing, I have been dropping videos consistently for like a month. I would say for the last month or two, every Sunday at three o'clock. This last past Sunday, I did not drop a video. I got busy, things happened, but I brought, I want to bring y'all a video that I feel like is much needed in the barber industry with no collabs, no sponsorships, no nothing. The second thing I want to cover, I'm not going to keep beating a dead horse with the next two things I say, but maybe if I say it, it'll click for other people and a click for businesses as well. So, people, understand that nobody is trying to boss you around and tell you what to do. We're literally trying to knock this corona thing out so we can go back to the real normal. Because right now, this mask and hand sanitizer, gloves, everything is normal for us right now. And don't get me wrong, they've been teaching us this since for real kindergarten first grade but for some reason people are having a hard time understanding the process and this whole thing so people do your part wear your mask hand sanitizer take the extra stuff even wear gloves if you had the resources to get disposable gloves you know what i'm saying so just do that secondly or well, thirdly businesses if you have a sign that says no mask no entry mask required stick by that stick to it don't worry about missing twenty dollars here or thirty dollars if somebody can't Go by your rules and, and you know, stick to your your guidelines when, when it comes to your business. Oh, well, forget it. We got to knock this thing out and do our part so we all can go back to normal. We can spend time with our family. We can have cookouts. Well, summertime over with now. So, you know, we do our part so we can go back to living our normal life so we don't have to wear these masks. And, you know, y'all know how I go. So, those are three things I had to cover. Not gonna be the dead horse with it. So, without further ado, let's roll this intro and let's get into it. So, right here, I got two of the most hyped up, I'm not even going to say most hyped up, two of the most amped up trimmers, cordless at that. And I know they've they been out for a minute, but I'm going to bring it to y'all, like I said, 100% raw, 100% with my opinion, no sponsorships, no nothing. This is straight, real deal me my personal opinion and my preference with that being said i can't guarantee how i feel for you but i'm gonna give it to you raw you take this information and do what you want to do with it so before we even get started let's do a sound test we're gonna put them side by side let's get them side by side focus 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 come on thing i need you to focus man come on it ain't trying to focus right now, but we'll get it to focus. Sound test first, side by side. One, two, three. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three. They both sound very powerful to be Coreless trimmers, there we go. We got it focusing now. We got some action now. So, they both sound to be very powerful, but I do got to get an edge to the babless, the babeless, whatever the case may be, however you say it. I do got to get an edge to these trimmers right here. They do sound a little bit powerful, but they do, in my opinion, have a downfall. So, you hit the switch to turn it on, it has a delay. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me see if I get a look closer, you can see it. Come on, thing. Focus, focus, focus. Focus. Okay, so look. When you cut the trimmer on, see how it has had that delay before it actually turns on? In my opinion, I don't really care for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like the lifespan on it isn't going to be that long. You know what I'm saying? Rather than if I was to get a corded pair of trimmers, I can just replace the cord and the blade and maybe the lever then I pretty much got a brand new pair of clippers right there you know what I mean so 
that does worry me you know what i'm saying but then again that could just be how it is you know what i'm saying it does have a long lifespan you know what i'm saying so that's just my opinion on it you know and that's my downfall with this trimmer right here and i have three downfalls with this trimmer right here my second downfall as you guys can see right there it has allen screws instead of phillips you know like we're used to phillips screws like we're used to you know and this is actually my second pair of babless um trimmers the first pair i had i had to return to the store because when i went it um i don't know if it was stripped or whatever the case may be well something was wrong with the screw and it wouldn't screw one side so i could adjust it and get it to um zero gap on both sides so it would be equal so you know i do wish they did put phillips screws instead of regular screws you know what i'm saying i mean with allen screws it's more convenient than if you lose the allen wrench that comes with this then you got to try to find the allen wrench that fits this exact uh, size right here i just feel like that's a hassle my last thing let me back the camera up a little bit i do wish they did come with an actual stand like the cordless ti liners that way it's more sturdy I do not feel 100% secure having this sitting on my station like this because me personally, anything can happen, some could, some could drop and it make my station slide or shake and you know, then that's ain't no, this trimmer falls and it cracks the blade. I do have a replacement blade, you know what I'm saying? But I want to keep that until this trimmer is not hitting the way I want it to hit. And matter of fact, let me sit it like this. Y'all can see them side by side. I don't have the dock right beside me right now for the cordless TI liners, but y'all can see a size comparison as well. You know, I mean, it's really not too much of a size comparison. Height-wise, it's probably like another, I would say the babless, babeless, whatever it is, is maybe like an inch, inch and a half, a little, just a little teeny bit, you know, more taller than the cordless TI liners. But, you know, that's a personal preference depending on you want a longer trimmer or a wider trimmer than wider by far the cordless TI liners, but taller the babless, you know what I'm saying? So, those are my three downfalls. I will say, as far as my, my heavy hitters, if I just want to don't play with a line, knock it on out real quick, use my cordless um, babless FX's, gold FX trimmers, you know, but... Let me get into the cordless TI liners and tell y'all why I have a love-hate relationship. Well, why I did have a love-hate relationship with the trimmers. So, I love these trimmers forever. will love these trimmers because they were a gift, you know what I'm saying, to me. So, I will for always love them and I will always use them. But as you guys can see, like in my previous videos, I was using them to put ball guidelines and when it came to the taper area i wouldn't use them for ball fades because i don't want to use my trimmers to set in a guideline especially a ball guideline all the way around the head because that will you know um how the lifespan of my trimmers not long like i want them to so me personally i converted a pair of magic clips into balling clips i took the balling blade and put them on magic clips and went from there but um Man, with these trimmers right here, I had a hard time getting them set at first. And I was using them with the regular blade on them, as y'all can see right now. I needed to focus. I got the GTX Deep Tooth blade on it. Come on, there it go. So, once I put this Deep Tooth blade on it, man, I have absolutely no complaints at all. But let me tell you what the complaint was for me at first. And let me show you guys as well too when i cut this trim on and the light comes on right here and it lights up blue and it says andis it literally cuts it on instantly it's no hesitation no delay no nothing cuts on instantly you know what i'm saying and i don't know if you can really see it on camera i do have them zero gap to pretty much to the t you know what i'm saying like they up there you know what i'm saying and what I like about these, I can have them this close and use them on kids and get a sharp, crispy line and don't bite, it don't pull their hair, doesn't do nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because kids, they will tell you if the trimmers 
or nicking. And then you also got to be more cautious. Like I am cautious when I come to putting these on um, kids because they do hit hard and the, the blade on it is so fine and so thin. You know what I'm saying? It really takes nothing to cut somebody or nick somebody with this trimmer right here. So with these, I, I mean, man, I love them. You know what I'm saying? At first, I had a hard time setting them, but once I got them set right and once they actually kicked in, and as you guys know, I don't really know it. Everybody know this, but I know some OG barbers know this. Um, trimmers, clippers, they have to kick in. With that being said, you have to use them and use them and use them for them to kick in. Sometimes you can get a blade set and it hits instantly, you know what I'm saying? But most of the time you have to use it for at least like, I'll say about three, four haircuts before they kick into their full potential. But my problem was I had a brand new GTX blade, the same exact blade I have on now, but this is an older blade I had laying around my old pair of corded clippers. And I um, just left them set how they were. I didn't readjust them or anything. And I just slapped them on here and they started hitting really hard, man. Like I started using these joints almost on everybody. You know what I'm saying? I was alternating. One haircut I would use my go to fx is then the next haircut i would use my gtx blade um on the cordless ti liners you know what i'm saying but my problem was this i had a brand new blade i sharpened it myself and um i couldn't get it to hit how i wanted to hit you know i didn't want to keep filing the blade down because i didn't want it too thin that way it's it's starting to pull the hair and it's starting to snag and you know do anything crazy that's gonna make my client uncomfortable so I was like, man, I can't get these joints to hit how I want them to hit. So I started using them to do my ball tapers. And, um, you know, then I was like, man, you know, I, I really know that these trimmers have the potential and, and you know, the power to do some great things. You know what I'm saying? So I kept on messing with them, kept on messing with them, doing my thing. Then I got the idea, man, let me slap on one of my old GTX blades and put it on it and see what it do. And man, once I did that, and as you guys can see, look, I got some wear and tear on this old blade, right? But it's still in good, you know what I'm saying, good condition. No rust, no chips, no missing teeth. Everything is good, you know what I'm saying? But once I put this blade on that was already set, and I did sharpen this blade too, but this was way before um, I put it on here. I haven't sharpened the blade since I put it on here. Once I put that blade on here, man, when I tell y'all the trimmer was hitting, Man, it was hitting. I'm trying to tell you that John was punching. It was going crazy. I literally would alternate. One haircut I would use the cordless TI liners, the next I would use the Babless Go to FX's. I literally alternate now, you know, and I have no complaints at all about this trimmer whatsoever. Once they get set right, they hitting. You know what I'm saying? And as far as with the um regular TI liner blade, I did use it a few times, but my preference is a deep tooth blade. It hit harder, in my opinion, to the deep tooth blade with the deep tooth blade on there. And that's with the corded or cordless. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I felt. You know, I do know some barbers. Well, I do know a lot of barbers that use it with the regular tail on blades. And they do have some crisp lines. I will say that. So, me personally, when it comes to feel, how it feels in my hand, I do prefer the cordless TI liner because this is that traditional TI liner feel. The only difference to me... It's just a little bit longer than the corded TI liners, but this is that traditional feel. I mean, as far as me feeling the way I feel about this trimmer is because I did start cutting hair with a pair of corded TI liners. So that wide body feel, the lever being right here, all of that is still the same. The only thing that's different, it doesn't have the cord, you know what I mean? So it's the exact same feel for me. So that's why I tend to like this feel better because this is what I'm more used to. I did have to adjust to holding this, you know, Babless go to effects, but once I got adjusted to it, I mean, it wasn't nothing you know that I feel like I couldn't do with this trimmer, you know what I mean. But like I said, with this trimmer, put the GTX blade on it, and I guarantee it's gonna hit harder than um, the regular TI liner blade. And I'm not even gonna say I guarantee it because you gotta have it set right, you know what I mean, and set evenly, as you guys can see. I showed y'all before, I have it set. You know, like they they ready to punch, and let me show y'all my gold FX is they are set. You know what I'm saying, pretty high as well, and um, you know, man. So at the time of me shooting this video, I want to say that 
they were around the same price you know what i'm saying depending on where you get it from the ti liner could be a little more expensive and with that being said too the gold fx could be a little more expensive both of them could i would say potentially run you anywhere from 160 to 200 depending on where you um get it from you know what i mean so i'm gonna drop in the description the cheapest place i found to uh get each of these trimmers and you know you guys can determine which ones y'all gonna get that's my personal opinion for both of these trimmers both of them are great trimmers i will say that you know what i'm saying and um i mean for real for real it all depends on what feeling you're looking for if you want a more modern and more skinny feeling then you can go with the gold fx if you want that traditional ti liner feeling that wide body you can go with the cordless ti liner with that being said that's the end of the video if you found information in this video that you found informative please subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend if you're new to the channel like comment share join the family join the gang and until next time y'all be blessed